Hello, my name is Jeremy Banks. I'm the MeasureLink and Data Management Sales Specialist for Meditate America. In this video, I'm gonna show you the different views that are available in MeasureLink's real-time software. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about the different views. The main views for MeasureLink real-time are 2D view, data sheet, and classic view. Each view has benefits that different people may find that they want at their facility. Any of these views can be used at any time. Some people will show all three views by default, others will reduce the amount of views shown to cause less confusion for the operator. The first one I wanna talk about is the 2D view. It is what is displayed right now. Um, it shows all of my characteristics all at the same time. So I can see inside, outside diameter, length, thread condition, plating condition, chips, slivers, and hit marks all at the same time on the screen. This allows you to set up a sequence or a work instruction type view that the operator can use to walk through the inspection. Another popular view is called Datasheet. Datasheet is a spreadsheet view. It allows you to see the tolerances and all of the data collected at once. This also shows you all of the characteristics on the screen at the same time. For those that are used to spreadsheet uh, applications like Minitab or Excel, they'll find that this view is easy to use. The last view that I want to discuss is the classic view. The classic view shows only one characteristic at a time. So for example, I'm looking at the characteristic inside diameter. I can see a pre-control chart, a histogram, the measured values, and the image. But all of these displayed on the screen are only for inside diameter. If I wanna look at a different characteristic, then I can use the tab up at the top to select outside diameter and toggle to that different characteristic. Now the charts don't need to be the same for every characteristic. For example, if I want to use a pre-control chart for inside diameter, but for outside diameter, I want to use an IMR chart, I can very easily change that by just right-clicking, changing the current chart type, and picking an IMR chart. So now that chart is changed to IMR, but the inside diameter has stayed the pre-control. This is very common. Many people have different uses for different SPC charts for different characteristics. I can have as many charts on the screen as I can accommodate. If I wanted to add an additional chart, for example, I can just right click, say new chart, and I'll pick run. So now I've added a run chart to the screen. I can resize the charts, or I can move the chart to a different location in the screen. I can resize now, and if I like this view, I can go ahead and save it so that this will be the default view the next time I open up the run. The charts can be changed for any of the basic views. I can change charts in the data sheet as well. If I don't want to see the histogram and the run chart, I could change those. Or in the 2D view, I can change the charts displayed as well. It's whatever charts that fit your application or whatever charts you want your operators to see while they're collecting data. Thank you for watching. For more information, please contact us at 888 mitutoyo or our website, www.mitutoyo.com.